This is the plaintiff, Deborah Estrella. She says she went to the defendant's hair salon. Because her hair was black and orange, and she wanted to change it to a light blonde uniform color. Well, the one who ruined the job, she was left with four different colors in her hair and thinks this whole experience has been very difficult for her to handle emotionally because she looked like a freak. She's suing for every penny of the $740 she paid the woman and also the cost to redo her hair. This is the defendant, Michelle. She says she's a master colorist at a natural hair salon. And when the plaintiff came in, her hair was in deplorable condition. She did a beautiful job on the woman's hair. She left with a nice blonde shade. She was happy, and that should have been that. Then a few days later, she came in and demanded half her money back. She refused, and here they are today in court. She's accused of being shady. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Is it Estrella or Estrella? Estrella. Deborah Estrella, you are suing the salon where you got your hair done, represented here by Michelle. You're actually the stylist who did the hair, correct? Okay, for $740. Six fifty, the amount you paid for her to color your hair? Wow. And $90 to recolor your hair because, according to you, she did such a poor job. Tell yes. me what happened. Um, I was referred to them by one of my coworkers. She told me that they did excellent work, and I had recently bleached, like, the ends of my hair because I, what I wanted to do was have, like, a dark tone on my roots and, like, light colored on the bottom, but something to, like, complement my skin tone. Um, it didn't come out so good when I did it, so she was like, go to this place, they're really awesome. They'll what was it, how did, how did it come out? According to you, it was black and orange. Yeah, pretty much, like, um... Do you it, have pictures? Yeah, I have pictures here of okay. when I did it <laughs> myself, so... I'm not the best, I'm not okay. a professional. That's how I, that's how I the went to their The price is right, though. All right, Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, so that was not what you were going for. No, not at all. Okay. Like, I didn't go up as high as I wanted, so I was just all like... Right. so I then you decided done. to have it done professionally, and, and what did you ask her when you came in? Um, I asked for the pricing. They told me that I needed to come in because that they don't do um, the pricing over the phone. And when I came in, she did the, like, she go, went over my hair, and she said that I would need a package for a 650 and it would be two sessions. I said, that's fine. She had told me that it would be But what did you tell her you wanted done? I told her I wanted a dark tone on my roots. I wanted to, I really didn't want to touch my roots, but I wanted a nice lighter color where it's blonde, but then the black rolls out. I wanted that kind of look. She told me she would be able to do it because I told her right now the black and orange that I had in so my hair. So I, I want to be clear. Are you saying that you asked her for a solid color, whether it's from here or from here? Are you saying that you asked her for one for solid, solid color? color yeah, you one. didn't. Okay, you didn't apply one solid color, right? You applied highlights. Well, what she needed was a corrective coloring. Um, but what we explain is that our whole goal is to keep the hair healthy, especially since she abused her hair at home. Um, it was very sensitive. So we explained we have a system of treatments because her hair was red and orange. She uh -huh. wants to go into the blonde family. Okay. So to get the red and orange out, we have to continue to keep lightening it. Okay. Yeah. Go on. Um, she was there for about seven hours, nonstop working with her Okay. Hair. Did you apply any color? Yeah, of course. The okay. Final, Did you the apply different colors, like highlights? No. It's just more of just... Highlights is done by bleaching the hair, but separating pieces of the right. hair. Right. Did you do that? No. What she got Honey, is I like... I know how highlights are done. Yeah, I was just going to say, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know the what? process. What? This is natural. Yeah. Um, all right. So, you have, do you have pictures of how it looked? Um, after, yeah. Yeah. And all right, when you were there, did you complain at all? When I was there, I got up from the chair, and because their whole um, rule was that, that you weren't allowed to see your hair until after it was done. They didn't is that want true, you to... that you don't let them look in the mirror while you're doing their, your stuff? Well, we turn the chair around when it's in the middle of the process because we, we work with cases like hers all the time. So it's just like when the hair is wet or it's curly, it's not dry, just to keep the client relaxed throughout their entire process until it's finished blow drying, then we'll show them. But they do see it. I when mean, I would never tolerate that. I want to see it while it's going on. No, they on, do but... see it. We... All right, so this is how you looked afterwards? Yeah, like that and was what's the... your problem with it? The is... same night. I asked, when, before I paid her, before I put the money in her hand, I said, specifically, I work at a bank, and I want my, care, my hair to be one color because what I did to it was terrible. 
and it wasn't I, it wasn't presentable for my job. And just why people who have highlights are not allowed to work at not banks? The, no, but the, the okay. extreme colors that I had in my okay, hair. Okay, well, what's your problem though? What is it you didn't like? The my my roots were really bleached bad when I pulled it back in a ponytail because the roots were so much lighter than the ends. She left it on too long. She's not the one that actually did my hair. It was another woman. And Wait, you didn't do her hair? No. We worked together. No, did you do her hair, yes or no? Yes, we both worked together. Oh, worked together on her hair. Well, on her hair, okay. yeah. I thought you meant we worked together at the salon. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was... All right, so you're unhappy because you feel like there's too many colors going it, it on here. It was way too many colors. And I told her I wanted to... When I gave her the 650, I said I want to be one color at least because the black okay, and Okay, but... Orange. All right, but and the deal that you struck with her, according to you, was that you would come back a second time. The second time is not... To have coffee. The second time is to correct whatever it is no, that you're not second, liking at the moment. The second you time, were there seven hours? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So why didn't you just come back and let her um, work on it the second time? Like I, you, I came back the next morning. I didn't and come said back. you wanted your money back. I, I came back the next morning and I told her that um, I wasn't happy with how it came out. She said that um, she would do something else, put some coloring into it to even it out. And I said, why wasn't it something that was done that same night if you knew that I needed that? Because what I asked for was one color and you didn't give me that. She told me um, that the lady that actually did my hair, because she didn't do my hair, the lady that did my hair, she said, if I knew that this was the type of person you are, I would have never touched your hair because I don't deal with people like you. Me? And I didn't know what she meant. Honestly, I, I'm not sure if she meant that I was being like, rude to her or maybe because of the work she felt offended but I told her I really appreciated the work that she did I just not I'm not happy with what happened to my hair okay were you there when she came back yes all right and you were there when she left yes when she left did she say anything she was happy okay how do you know she was happy because she said I like it okay did you say I like it when you left no welcome back to the people's court Harvey Levin here so uh simple when she walks out of the shop without complaining does that kill her uh, you don't, you got to say what you got to say when it's time to say it. And when is the time to say it? Right at the time of it happens. What if she has just remorse after a day or two when it settles in? That's the question. What if, like, a day or so later she looks and she says, God, now I'm really looking at it and it sucks? I think it's just, like, too bad. Like, you should have said what you said when you should have. You're a heartless woman, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. Did you say, I don't like it when you left? Yeah, I asked her, is this is how it's going to stay? And she said, it's, no, we're going to come and do it again. I said, this doesn't look really even. And she took pictures and stuff like that. She said, come back tomorrow and we'll, we'll straighten it out and we'll do something else to it. And I, I was there for so long already and I was already tired. Uh, I didn't when she comes it. back tomorrow, what does she say? She comes back the next day and she says that she was unhappy with the color. We said, that's because you're still missing a second session. The second session is just final. It's like one final color. She already did the whole lightening. We did like seven so why hours. Is it, why is there a range of colors in her hair? It's all history of the hair. It all depends on how she, whatever she was doing with it before, whatever color she was. That's the mystery with hair. It's like everything's different for everyone. Um, because the history, depending if you flat iron it too much or if you color it too much, nothing is even. That's the thing with chemically processed hair. It's not virgin, so nothing is going to ever be the same. So why didn't you just go the second time? And then if you still weren't happy, I understand suing. But you end up saying, no, you're not touching my hair ever again. Give me back my money. How do you, how do you think that's going to happen? Because if you didn't do your part of the, of the contract. No, I understand that. But like, when, I've never seen a case like this where they specifically tell you, you will not walk out of here today necessarily with, with the final product. You must come back for phase two. They actually told you that according to your own testimony. And then you don't go back to phase two. And yet you're saying, well, it's not a final product that I like. Well, yeah, it's not a final product. I know, because she, when I gave, before I gave her the money, I said, can you at least get me to something that I feel comfortable with Seriously, now? honey, you, can, you can't walk in and work in a bank because you can't work in a bank because your hair looks like that. That's that bad that you can't was, work in a bank. It was It's not bad. like they made your hair green or something. It was, it was not even. My roots... The, so the, what it's not even? Why, why does it stop you from working at the bank? Because I didn't feel comfortable. It's my hair, and I paid $650. Well, okay, but you felt comfortable with this. No, that's why I paid the no, money I know, to get it but professionally done. I mean, I done. know, but see, it's a contracts case for me. It's just a contract. If you're not comfortable, you don't want to go back, don't. But that's, you don't leave it at that. You know, you're a free woman. You can decide, I'm never going back there. I'm not going to let those people touch my hair. The problem is that you've come to me and you've said, and give me my money back. So you now have to show they did something wrong. You didn't even let them finish. How, could, how is that showing me that they did something wrong? My verdict in this case is for the defendant. All right, ladies. 
Well, the plaintiff has the right to not go back the second time, but uh, you leave the $740 behind you. What's your reaction to this? Um, I'm surprised. Like, I, I really expected to get a fair judgment on it, so it's really shocking to me, but I feel like they should have done better work even Why don't you give him the team. second chance to finish the job? Because she was the comments that she made to me didn't make me feel comfortable with her touching my hair again. Believe me, Judge Millian understands hair. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she does. Okay. Thank you. Right, right around this way. <laughs> so step on in here. And uh, speaking of hair, uh, how are you feeling about this outcome here? Um, I was expecting it. Um, we thoroughly explained the process um, when coloring, especially when you're trying to lighten your hair or correct something. So the fact that she didn't follow through was the reason why we were expecting mm -hmm. an outcome like this. What, what color is that hair? Uh, it's like gray, green, gray. Is there any blue in there? Yeah, some blue. Could you make Douglas look like that? I sure can. <laughs> you can? All right. Bobby? Okay, I will say it doesn't kill your case if you don't complain on the spot, but I am telling you, it really, really helps.